All right, welcome back, everyone. Yeah, that thing, right? Yeah, that's that's going in the blue right there. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Joe is back here, Dukes of Duval. And today we got a project for the golf cart and we are gonna be changing all the bushings in the front end. And the reason that we're gonna do this is we're not sure if they've ever been changed. We doubt that they've been actually gotten into lately. We have an issue with the tires with the toe, right? Is it toe in? Toe in. Okay, so what's happening with the tires is they are actually towed in at the top. And if you look down there now, you can actually see the toe like that. We also have an issue where the steering wheel isn't centered. So what we're going to try to do is back the nuts off on These the... These nuts? Uh, what is this called? Steering? I think that's the steering. This. Um, I forgot what that's called. Um, that's the steering linkage arm, maybe? Sounds about right. Yeah, there's basically like two... There's two rods, threaded rods, and one of the nuts is a uh, locking nut and we should be able to run both of them the same distance and be able to center the steering wheel. Um, without having to get down into the steering rack and remove it and turn it. We've got about, we need about two inches on the steering wheel to be centered, so we're going to run those. We're going to try to, we assemble everything back up, run these two guys over and get this thing where it's driving straight with the steering wheel straight. So Joe, what is our plan of attack first? All right, first thing is we're going to have to take off the light assembly uh, because we have to get into the uh, steering uh, front steering assembly to, get, okay. to pull that off to right. get to the two bolts that hold the top of the A-arm in there. Right. So that's the big thing that everybody misses. I think they all do the bushings at the bottom of it and then they never get up towards the top of the A-arm. And that's actually a, a larger um, a rod that goes in between there that a lot of people don't know about. So, so why don't you uh, grab those, bush, yep. those bushings so we can kind of show. Yep. Now this kit actually came from Buggies Unlimited. They're actually in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, where we're located, we could actually run out and pick these up if we wanted to. They shipped them and they came like the next day. Right. And inside the kit, we've got everything we need to do all the front bushings um, on the cart. And just to be clear for you guys, if you don't have the Magjax light kit, you don't have this lower bumper or LED light that has to come off. So you would. You would, still, that. you would still have the bumper. Though. You still have the bumper, yeah, okay. Yeah, Just not the LED. Bumper. Correct. Yep, okay, yep. cool. And, and one thing I will say is that um, there's a lot of people that make those bushings that you can buy online. Yeah. Uh, for the front, assume, for the front, I, I highly recommend this package because of how thin uh, this area is right here on it. Because the other ones are very thick and a lot of times people struggle to try to get all that stuff back together because right. you can't spread the metal, you can't move it out. It has to go right in there. So often I've had to uh, take those bushings and actually grind them down a little bit to make them fit a little bit better. So they can be used but hard to manipulate and get inside there. So this is a great kit that has everything that you actually need. Uh, some of the kits that you buy online that say for the front uh, assembly uh, often will be missing the, the big ones up here. So they just completely miss it for some reason. So this kit is a great kit and it has everything that you need to do the entire front, which is really, really good. And then the back, if we wanted to, we could do that as we, well later. We'll probably do that in a later project. But yep. Just to clarify, so this is uh, dropping one there, but this is the uh, the part number. It's 6700 from Buggies Unlimited. It's the precedent control arm bushing kit and that's all you need to do the front. So what we're gonna do right now is start prepping the cart. Um, probably have, we have to pull the front wheels off, right? Yeah, just okay. to make life easier. Yep, so we take that off, front wheels off. Okay. Yep, start from there. So, so one thing I noticed with these wheels, I think I mentioned this to you yesterday, the, it's almost, you almost need a thin wall socket. It tends to touch the wheel. Right, it's really tight where the socket Super is. Super tight, so I wish I had a smaller socket, but um, so we don't damage the wheel, but I noticed when I put them on, they were kind of rubbing. Sure, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna get the car all jacked up. We're gonna put some jack stands under it that are on the wall somewhere yep. over there. And then we'll get back to you guys right after this. All right, let's do this. All right, so we're ready to jack this thing up, but before you jack up uh, your car, the first thing that you always wanna do is break the lug nuts on the tires. Obviously, once they're off the ground, it's a little bit harder to get those off. So just do a quick break of them. You're not taking them all the way off. You're just making sure they're loose enough. Uh, it makes it easier for them to come off. And, and then as soon as you jack it up, um, I like to put jack stands underneath here just because when you take those tires off, 
You don't want to have that jack, the, the uh, jack underneath there in the way. It just clears it out. Put two jack stands underneath there and you'll be good. Plenty of room to work. All right, so here we are in the cart, uh, with the cart, and we have our Pittsburgh Jack here. And what we're gonna do now is go ahead and remove the tires, but we wanna show this to you, and we'll show this to you as we get into the cart, is we're gonna be checking these hubs, which have bearings in them. And they're not that expensive, so while you're in there, you may or may not wanna go ahead and throw new hubs on before you put your tires and stuff back on. We're gonna get to that right now. So as, this, as we mentioned before, obviously you want to just check these to make sure they're feeling pretty good, which this one does. But we do have a lot of play down here. So where the leaf spring connects to the spindle, um, they're, I'm looking at it right now and they're completely uh, deteriorated. So there's a lot of play down here, just, just right in that area alone. Um, the upper ones for, I believe they call this a kingpin, is, uh, doesn't seem to be terribly bad. But again, we're still going to replace it. So uh, one thing to know as we start to take these out, um, the good news is there's not a backing nut uh, that you have to hold on to. The, uh, it's actually screwed into the frame itself, so you're just actually taking out uh, the top of the bolt uh, with whatever wrench or socket that you're going to use. So Joe, what do you think about the fact that we have an issue with the, with the toe like that? Do you think that that's this, or do you think it's more related to the upper? Um, it, could be, it could be both, to be honest with you. Um, I, okay. I can't see up in there on the, on the upper A-arm, so, so there's two parts of the A-arm that we're going to replace, and there's the bottom part of the A-arm, which is if you'll back up, I'll show them real fast, mm -hmm. which is right here. And then the upper A-arm, which is buried back in here again, uh, which is behind the, the uh, steering assembly uh, right here, which is why we gotta take the slide off. So um, all this is good stuff to replace. Um, you'd be surprised these bushings probably go out uh, probably you know every four or five years. Uh, they get worn out, especially if you've got heavy usage on your golf cart. So uh, constantly keep an eye on them because uh, what you don't want is your tires, especially if you have aftermarket tires uh, being ran where you're you know obviously uh, getting bad wear on your tires, so always check those to make sure they're good. Cool. Okay. All right, so now the first thing we're going to do is take off the light assembly like we mentioned. Um, you may have a light assembly or you have a bumper. Uh, the way that these hold on are pretty simple. There are two bolts underneath. Um, you're going to use a 13 millimeter socket to break those loose. Um, and it actually just slides into the channel of the frame. So once you pull these out, uh, from there, um, there's just a, um, a connection between uh, the, the, the wiring uh, into the light. You'll just unplug that and then it's out of the way. Cool. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take off the front light assembly. Um, that way we can get back again to the top of the A-arm uh, for those longer uh, bushings that go in there. Uh, to take this off, uh, pretty simple, there's two bolts uh, that go up through the frame. Um, so you'll use a 13 millimeter uh, for the bottom nut and a 10 millimeter for the bolt itself on the top. Um, once you have those removed and you pull those out, from there this assembly just slides out. It actually has um, two uh, pieces that go slide into the back 
or into the channel of the frame, and it just slides right out. Once it pops out from there, all you have to do is just unhook the uh, the connector to the lights, and you're good to go, and frees up a bunch of space. So now that we got the light assembly off, uh, what we're going to want to do is uh, take apart a couple of different things. So uh, this is the steering assembly here. So in order to get to the top of the A-arm, to get those longer A-arm bushings in, uh, you'll need to, 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 to remove this. Um, we're not going to completely take it apart, uh, but we are going to remove the three bolts that hold it into the body of the, of the cart. And then at the same time, we'll go ahead and remove uh, these tie rod ends. Uh, to make it where we can manipulate it and move it because just behind it are the two bolts that hold in uh, th those bushings. So we're going to go ahead and get that done, removed, and then from there we'll be taking out the top bushings. Okay, how do the CV boots look? No, uh, these are totally fine. They look in good shape. Are they CV boots? What are these? I, I, I would assume maybe. I mean, maybe well, they, they don't call. turn, so they're probably just right grease inside here or whatever. Probably so. okay. They look to be in good shape. And what are these? The frame rails? Yeah, these are frame rails. Okay, exactly. Cool. And, and right. again, just to show you, when you when we took this off, we talked about it, uh, these things just slide. Uh, to the usually, frame rail. Yeah, I believe they're usually above or, or below it. Okay. Above that, slide right onto it, and then the bolt just slides right through there, and then the nut's on the bottom. Perfect, all right, so we're gonna get started on that next step now. All right, so we went ahead and uh, took the three bolts out, which those are uh, 13 millimeter bolts. Um, there's no nuts on the back side of those, so just remove those all together. Okay. Uh, from here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the tie rod ends. So um, on the bottom of it, it is an 18 millimeter uh, nut, and then what you'll have to do is get, take a 17 millimeter uh, and wedge it in here to the top to hold that nut, or to hold, to hold that so just you can like take this. that nut off. So it's not, uh, a, it's not it's smooth all the way around, but there is two slots on it for you to go. So you have to work it all the way around until you find it, hold that secure, and then drop it. One thing to know also um, is that typically uh, there are carter pins that hold in this nut to make sure that they don't back off on their own. Obviously, you don't want that while you're driving. Uh, they were not on here, but there is a little tiny hole. So you'll want to replace that with, with a carter pin if you have it. Uh, if you don't, you could probably use uh, something else like maybe a paper clip or a nail. Uh, just make sure you get it in there and uh, you know bend it so that it obviously keeps it from falling off. So, Even a bright tie. Yep, yep. Just anything to make sure that it doesn't fall off all the way. All right? Okay. So from here, we're going to now start to disassemble the, the, the kingpin right. as well as the uh, spindle from okay. there from the, the leaf spring itself. So okay. uh, from here, um, obviously we want to get the, the appropriate size uh, uh, driver for this one for, for this the wrench. Side. Yep, to go ahead and, and relieve that. And then okay. we're also going to be needing to relieve uh, the bottom of the AR from here as well. Okay.
All right, guys, so in this next set of clips here, you're going to see me taking all the parts that we removed from the cart, and I take them and I degrease them all, then I wire wheel them all, and then I hit them with a good coat of matte black paint. Alright, in this clip you're going to see right here, I am about to hit those little A arms with some flat black paint. Get everything fresh to death, freshen everything up. It's going to look so good, just like factory when I get done. Okay, so we have the spindle. driver's side spindle and hub. and hub down here, and we are about to start cleaning up those guys with brake cleaner and then hit them with some paint, getting them all fresh to death.
right, guys, we're back, and we have spent a good hour and a half or two cleaning up everything and repainting everything, and we are ready to start reassembly. So, Joe, what's our first step here? Yeah, so we're going to start by putting the A-arms back on, so okay. the long bolts. Right. Um, so, obviously, the biggest thing in, in assembling these back together is that sometimes putting those bushings back in can be kind of a pain. Okay. So, um, we'll go ahead and uh, take the two A-arms now, okay. uh, put the bushings back in there, and Make sure everything's all looking good. So, okay, perfect. Yep. All right. So obviously you've got to put those, uh, get your A-arm there. Can you go get those bolts, Brad? Yep.
guys, welcome back. And we just finished up our project here. We did all the bushings on the front of the cart. We refreshed the front of the cart. We redid the whole entire front end. We painted everything and put everything back together really nice. And as you can see here, if you can look down here at the wheels now, there is absolutely no issues with the toe before the tires were angled in like this. They're sitting perfectly straight. The steering wheel actually straightened itself out too. So we didn't have to make any adjustments. We didn't even have to do an alignment yet. We don't know if we're gonna have to do that, but for right now, it looks pretty close. Um, so we're gonna go out and take a test drive. So what do you think about the project? It took us a couple hours. Yeah, and I think we probably spend more time doing little detail stuff that most people wouldn't. I would imagine most right. people wouldn't go through the process of cleaning all the stuff up like we did, but we wanted to make it look fresh. But I will say a couple of things to remember, especially when you're trying to put those uh, bushings back in, you'll notice that sometimes they're a little bit tight because two things are happening. One, uh, if you have those rubberized style ones, a little bit thicker, you need to uh, obviously shave those down a little right. bit, but also the... the, the um, Cotter, uh, they're like, not cotter bins, they're spacers. spacers. The spacers that go in there sometimes are a little bit too big, so we had to take a couple of those and take them over to the bench, grind them down a little bit just to shorten them a little bit right. so that it slides back into, into position. The other thing is that when you're trying to get that bolt lined up, it can be difficult sometimes. Yeah. So, so a little trick is that if you just take that bolt and go to the back side where it screws into, run it back that way, it will line everything back up then pull the pull the bolt back out, put it back on the other side, and it'll go right back in. So that's just an easy trick to just line things up because it will be a pain for sure. So. Right, so what Joe's talking about is down here where the shock connects to the assembly down there, there's no nut on the back. It's literally just a, a welded in nut into the to frame. So if you take that bolt and go back the opposite way, it'll line up your uh, whatever that is that sits down inside that shoe there, mm -hmm. and it helps you do it. So we didn't really have any major problems here. Uh, we got everything painted, we got everything clean. I would say if you wanna do this project yourself, maybe you order, if you really wanna go crazy, you can order mostly you know, the whole new subframe and replace all the parts. You can replace your, your hubs if you think you might have some miles on them. If you don't, you can get by with what we did, which is all brand new bushings, and we actually cleaned up everything on the wire wheel. We degreased everything with some brake cleaner, and then we put everything back together. Yep. So now we're gonna take this thing for a test drive and see what happens. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it, all right. All right, Brad. All right, guys, so we are going for a test drive now, and you guys have not seen the dash in action. So this is uh, Ulysses Speedometer Pro running here. It shows us our battery charge, our compass, our GPS speed, our total speed, like our overall speed, and you also can play, since YouTube is I subscribe, um, we can play YouTube over it. And so you can see your little dash. But there is... Ulysses Pro. Now what we're doing is listening for any weird issues, any clunks, any vibrations, any weirdness in the steering. So let's go ahead and take off and do a little drive here. First test of the new dash system with the YouTube channel. Has not seen it. And it actually already can feel a difference in the front end. It's much softer than before. It was like when we would come off of this before, we would hear a big clunk. Yeah, metal clunking. Two. We had yeah, metal that, and metal. That, I would say, is another thing. If, if you're hearing metal clinking when you're going over bumps, you, you probably need to change out your bushings. Also, the steering wheel is straight. Before, it was over here, like literally like that. We have a 100% straight steering wheel now. And you notice when we go over bumps, the magnetic mount on the dash is not going anywhere. So there we go, it shows us our speed. Super Street Golf Cart. Yep. And the front end feels fantastic. It actually feels much better than it did before. Let's see if we can carry some speed. Kobe! Here. So we're letting Joe take a turn here on the cart. 
that he and I pretty much built. This thing started as a brown wood grain cart. Yep. Now it's carbon fiber. Full six, sound system. Six system. Six system. GPS dash. Oh, Android dash. Front end feels great. Like it literally feels like a brand new cart. Yep. We do that back end too. I think that'll be uh, beneficial. Driving this one and driving mine, I'll probably do for bushing suit as well. Let me get in there. Do yours need bushing suit? Yeah, probably. I'll help you do yours when you're ready. Now that we now we know exactly what to do. And your horn, we've got to hook your horn up. We Yeah. That's the biggest bump I've hit yet. Yeah, I think we have to pull that front assembly. We might be able to get underneath there to hook it up. It's just two wires. Yeah, this thing drives so much smoother. I think it's good to go, man. Yeah, how did that thing hook up? I don't even remember disconnecting. Two wires. Yeah. Um. Well, guys. Thanks so much for joining us today, and I hope you guys are able to do bushings on your cart too, just like we did. And hit us up in the comments section, let us know what you think, and uh, all right, what do you think about that project, man? Awesome project, man. Good stuff. Easy to do too, so uh, any regular person should be able to handle this pretty well. I agree, um, and now that you have our steps, you can do it yourself, and yep. we'll talk to you guys later. All right, sounds good. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the project with Joe and I. It went really well, but we want you to look for the next video that's coming out. This next video is going to have a full unedited version with the GoPros up underneath the cart. So that way, if you want to do it yourself, you can rewind back and go through all the action. You can see all the steps up close. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day from Joe and myself, and we love you guys.